how to create UX design portfolio website on Squarespace. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you how you can create your own UX design portfolio website on Squarespace. So let's get started. What you have to do is just go to squarespace.com and log in to your Squarespace, of course. Now we're going to create a new website which is going to be a UX design portfolio. So what you have to do is just click on get started and they will actually, you know, take us to the board where we will be creating our website so once you have selected to create your website you will come on the templates that squarespace has for us now we are going to create a ux design portfolio website so what i can do is i can just simply you know go ahead and from the type i will click on portfolio and from portfolio i am going to go for photography and we will check out the templates that we are going to get from portfolio and photography so to create a new website what you have to do is it's okay if you do not select any template what's going to happen is that we are going to change everything from a template so it doesn't even matter that whatever you chose but of course right now we're going for portfolio so i have selected portfolio i'm just checking out these templates now you can actually select whatever you like so i think i'm gonna go with this one or maybe I think the first one I saw. Okay, this one looks pretty good for UX design website. So I'm going with this template right here and I'm going to start with this one. Now, once I have clicked on that, now we will be able to create our website real quick. So you can see now my website template has been loaded and this is what the website looks like. This is what the template looks like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually change it and we're going to add the title and everything that we want to add. Now of course to create a UX design portfolio, uh, it depends on you what websites you want to add and how you want your footer or header to look like. So first things first, you can see that this is the template, right? And and you can see the header kind of looks like this. So I'm going to first of all click on edit and then we'll start editing. So first we're going to edit our header and I am actually going to change the header and you know keep it a little simple and after that I will be able to you know okay so you can see this is the header so I'm going to edit the site header and of course add the title first. So I'm going to add my site title right here. And if you have a logo, you will add it right here as well. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to add very randomly add the name for my company. Or, you know, we could just add the name of the channel. Because, but of course, you're creating a portfolio. So you will add your name. I am just creating a demo website. So I'm going to go with this. After that, if you have a logo, you can just simply add your logo right here. Now we're going to go back. So once my title has been added, the header kind of looks like this. If I want to add the elements that are available in the header, for example, you can see work about an Instagram. And if I want to add different headers, for example, social links and added social links, you will click on added social link and add the social link to your Instagram if you want to add of course and your website if you have any other website so you will add the link right here so after that you have added all of your links right here and you have edited your header now what's going to happen is if i want to add a new section in here i'm going to actually you know go ahead and add a new section okay this one looks good so i'm going to add this section right here in this section you will actually add different information of course you will click on add it and add your social media right here so once you're done with your header you have added this section then you can simply come here and you can see this is another section that has been added so i'm going to delete this section to delete a section what you have to do is just add click on this bin icon and remove the section so again if i want to add another section i can just simply add sections by clicking on any of the area for example this section you can see here they have a section which is completely empty and if i want to add another section in between these two parts then i can click on add section so once i'm done with all of this information i can just simply you know go ahead and click on save so if i go back 
So you have added your header and if you want to add different pages, we simply click on pages and here I will be able to see that these are the different pages I have. Now here they have a work page and in the template, right? So they have a work page and then landscape architecture editorial. Now I do not have these. I don't want these pages. I will be creating my own pages. So I'm going to delete the landscape page. And I'm going to confirm that. Now I'm going to delete the architecture page as well and confirm that as well. And after that, if I'm going to add a new page and this new page will be a portfolio page and this page will actually, you know, let's add a new page and let's check the template for a page. Now they are giving me two templates, the portfolio one and portfolio two. I think the one looks good. So I'm going to select this one and I am adding this page and this page is going to be the portfolio one page. This is what it calls. I'm not going to call it portfolio one. Rather, I'm going to call it my experience. Okay, so I have added this page. If I want to add another page, which is going to be my, uh, this is called the work page. So you can see right here that this is the work page and this is what the work page looks like. You, you will see here. Then there is an about page in which you're going to add the information of your about page. Of course, the about page is where you will, you can add your contact, your email and other information as well. Then again, if you want to add different pages, you simply click on add pages and you can add as many pages as you want to. If you want to edit a page you simply click on that and it takes you to that page and on that page you will see that what it looks like and you can add all of the contents from right here or different sections you can actually you know go ahead and click on any part of the page once you want to edit it for example i want to edit my experience page i will click on edit and once i click on edit i will be able to add different sections i'm going to add a section in which i'm going to add a content which is going to be a text content so i'm going to select any of these templates okay so i want this section to look like this exactly so I have added this section before the pictures and you will see this is my experience page. This is this first section. I want to delete this section and I'm going to delete this, remove. Okay, now it looks good. This is the header. This is the section that I just added and I will be adding different links to it. Okay, I want to remove this button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here and remove the button because I do not want it. There you go. Then there is this picture section and it has a lot of pictures. That's good. And I can add in any of the picture. For example, I can manage different projects, of course. And these different things that you're seeing, the thumbnail for the project, you can actually add images. You can add photography. You can add your different experience and projects right here. And you can see that each section has a project. For example, if I want to edit the project one, I will click right here, project two. And you can add up to six projects right here on this page so this is what my experience page is going to look like i think it will look good right now i have not edited this out and added the text of course but what's going to happen is that when i am going to create a website when you are going to create a website you will definitely edit it out and add the text you want to add for your website so i think my experience page looks good i'm gonna done and save and this will be saved as well now i have i think three pages for my website it looks pretty good it has work page it has my experience page and then there is the simple social media page after that if you want to edit the footer you can see this is what the footer looks like what i'm going to do is click on edit go back and you can see edit footer in the footer if i want to add different social media and buttons i can just click on this section and i can just edit it out and add the links and social media to my footer as well super simple how we create different websites similarly you can create a ux design portfolio on Squarespace as well. Different templates are available. Uh, there are many templates to choose from and the process is completely easy. You see all of these different options right here. Make sure once you edit all of the information, you click on save changes and your changes will be saved. So once your website is created, you can go to the preview and you can get a mobile preview or a desktop preview for your website. And this is what your website will look like. And you can just add the information and images I didn't edit 
that much because I just wanted to, you know, show you how to do it. But you will add all of the images and information and text that you want to add to your portfolio website. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you will be able to create your UX design portfolio on Squarespace very easily. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.